Hello people, it's Nitronics here. I said I'd do a video about this and uh, I suppose I should do really because a lot of you, especially the kids at the school or where I work, um, want to be able to get YouTube videos off of YouTube and into movie editing programs so they can actually make their own little slideshows and stuff. Now, getting FLV files off of YouTube isn't inherently hard, um, but if you're not too sure what you're doing and don't know what you're looking for, it can be a little bit tricky. So anyway, let's begin. Uh, there's two programs you're going to need. One is called Reaver FLV Player. The other one's called Freeze FLV to AVI Converter. Now, what the FLV Player does is it allows you to copy videos off of, well not allow you to copy, but it allows you to view files that you've copied off of YouTube onto your computer um, as native format. So you don't have to stick them through things like Flash 8 Pro and then export them as a, an executable or as an SWF file, you can play them as an FLV file basically. Um, what the encoder does is it converts it to AVI or MPEG format or WMV format so you can stick it into Movie Maker or indeed anything else you use so you can make your own little videos. Um, having said that, let's, be, let's start by showing you where to get these programs because I've already installed them. So first things first, go to Google while we use it, we'll never know. Uh, we'll type in Reaver, FLV player. Now, don't go to the Reaver site unless you find it works. Um, I didn't find it did because you go there and to download it, it redirects you to the download.com site, which then doesn't work. So it becomes a bit frustrating. I found that the freewr.com site worked. So I would suggest going there because it's just easier. Now, not immediately obvious, to download it, you click there, and it'll ask you to download the file. So, remember, save it somewhere where you know it is saved. Cancel that. Next program. We're going to download the freeze converter. So, google.com again. FLV to AVI, because you don't have to type a whole load of stuff in. Now again, download3000.com is annoying because it pops up a load of stuff and I get bored with that. So I'm going to choose the brothersoft.com site which works better. Straight to the point, less clicks, you get what you want without dossing about. Download. Scroll down a bit, it gives you a choice of mirrors. I always choose the top one. Again, save it somewhere where you know it's saved. Uh, when you install it, I will have to point out, make sure you uncheck the boxes of the FLV player installation. Uh, check what it's installing because it tries to get you to install other things which Reaver do, um, but you don't really want to install that. I just want a player and I want an encoder. I don't want, a, re I don't want a, a player plus all the other crap that they do because I'm not interested. This does what I want it to do. Internet Explorer. Right, now I'm going to go to YouTube to find the video that we want. Now, I've already saved a video. Well, I saved it. I saved it in my favourites. So, I'm going to go to my account and I'm going to go to the Billy Connolly one. Now, that's playing cool. Now, you'll notice down the bottom here, this bar is loading across. Now, that is downloading the file off of YouTube and saving it in your cache in your browser on your station so don't think that it you know that bar's there just to make it look pretty that's downloading the file and when it gets to the end it saves it as a complete file in your cache now you've just got to know where that cache is but again you can get your browser to do that for you so don't want worry that oh no I've got to be poking through profiles and stuff don't worry about it we can sort that out so when that gets to the end there, job done. Right, that's now downloaded. We don't have to worry about it anymore. So we've got to Tools, or if you're using IE7, it will be a little button over here somewhere. So you want to go to Tools, Internet Options, and we want to go to Settings. On the, on the temporary internet files, click on Settings and View Files. And it will list all of the files. Now you notice this path here. Now, as I was saying, on a power user, I know what that is. Um, 
If you're on Vista, you might find it a bit of an issue navigating to that folder through my computer, as I've found in the past. Um, now, if you look down this list of all these files, you notice lots of little files. You think, well, what are all these files? Well, you don't have to worry about half of them. Some are adverts, some are little JavaScript files you can see there, There's a cascade and style sheet there. You know, you've got little JPEGs and GIFs and whatnot for your pages that you've downloaded. Now, you don't need to worry about that. If you look up the sizes, you'll notice that this big one here, you think, what the hell's that? That's 4 meg in size. That's your video. That's what you need to copy out of your internet files cache and somewhere else. The only trouble is it hasn't got an extension. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that file. So right click and copy. And we're going to abandon it on the desktop. So let's cancel these boxes out and get rid of them. Minimize that. Right click, paste. Now it hasn't got an extension which you will need for Windows because Windows works by extensions and associations. So you will have to rename this file um, because, of course, you've got to remember that, aren't you? Yeah, obviously. Um, right click, rename, or press F2, delete that file, then type in like, video1.flv. Now, that FLV is very important. You must use that extension, okay? Press Enter. You'll notice that the icon has changed. It's changed the little clapperboard there because it is basically associated itself to that program there. So now you know that that program is going to that file is going to open with that program. Double click that file and it'll open it in that program and play for you. Now that's it. You don't have to encode it or anything. It's playing it straight through that software. Close that. The next thing, we know that works. We've got the file. We now want to convert it from FLV format to an AVI format so we can use it in movie maker. Simple. Start programs free software and go to the freeze FLV to AVI converter. Open that. Do you want to update? No, I just want this to work. If it doesn't work, then I'll update it. You want to add your files to your list to convert, so you click on the add button. All good so far. Choose your file, open. Now you'll see it appear in that list. Make sure you know where your output file is going to be saved to. Okay, so what is this video output? that's the folder it's going to save that file into. So if you want to change that, go for it. It doesn't have to exist, it will create it for you. Mine already does exist because I've used this before. Um, click start and it'll convert the FLV file to an AVI file. Now as you can see it's whipping across there quite quick. You don't have to have a fast computer to do this. I've got an old Pentium 4 at work, it does it just as quickly so don't worry about it. Right, we've done that get rid of that. I'm going to go back into my computer again. I'm going to go to folders and down to C drive. Now if I scroll down this list you'll see a video output folder. If I go into there, I'll double click that, that will then open up in Media Player as an AVI file and you can now stick that in Movie Maker and you can put all your little transitions in and your files and whatnot for your school work or your college work or whatever. Okay. So I hope that's been of some use to you. Have fun, and if you get any problems, let me know. Thanks a lot.